Well, well, we're there. Let's talk about those buttons. And here, please don't tell me I'm a Garmin fanboy. Yes, I personally prefer Garmin watches for several reasons, but I'm not giving any company any favors here. I'm just listing facts that I realized after testing all of those watches, and I remind you that there is no company that pays me to make that video. I bought all of the watches that I have with me right now, except that Kuros that was sent to me by the company. My only condition was that they let me honestly say what I think about it. So there you go. Now I've reassured you about this. Let's continue and you'll quickly understand why I mention it. Garmin has very well developed its button systems. There is no interface on any other brand of sport watches that allow you to make as much with such efficiency. First, five buttons. On the right, you find the select and the back button, while on the left, you find the up and down, and the top one is for the light. You remember earlier when I told you my problem about the crown when I was wearing it on bike, I was pressing it with the top of my hand on certain position. Well, I have the exact same problem with the big buttons on the Sunto 9. I can press it with the top of my hands, and yes, it happened very often. At Garmin, they simply didn't put any button at that problematic place. So, not a problem. At Parler, there is a button at this position, but on this one, it's so thin that it has never been a problem. I just never managed to get used to the position of their buttons. Maybe it's just a matter of habit, but I didn't find it intuitive. The function of the button changed from one menu to another, and it became rather confusing. Another thing I like about a good button, it's its confirmation of a press. Uh, let's come back on that Sunto 9. Remember those big buttons? When you press on it, it's like pressing on marshmallow. There is absolutely no confirmation except a vibration that come often in delay. Most watches can also give you an audio feedback when you press that button, but I think it's annoying, so I just disable it on all of my watches. I just want to have a feedback with a click when I press on the button. And Garmin pushed the bar even further. You can program shortcuts to function that you use the most often. It can be by pressing and holding a button or with a combination of two buttons. So you can really personalize your watch as you wish. Let's do a quick example here with my Garmin Tactics. This button here is made to start an activity when I'm on the home page, but I program a hotkeys. If I hold it, it brings me to that page to share my hearth rate sensor with my uh, stationary bike. So that's more quickly to go in the menu and do it like that every time. Uh, that button here is made to go down, but if I press and hold it, it brings me to that music app uh, page. And uh, this one, if I hold it, bring me to the menu, but it's made to go up. Uh, and if I press on those two buttons, it deactivate my touch screen and reactivate it. That's a, a, a hotkeys that I have for gram. And uh, that one, if I press it once, just a click, it uh, turn on the backlight. If I press and hold it, it bring me to those widgets. And if I double click it, it turn on the flashlight. So we could continue to configure it uh, as we wish for a very long time. So in summary, in my opinion, a button should come out just enough so you can feel it, but not too much to be accidentally pressed. It should click when you press on it and have some resistance. Not too hard, not too soft. Ideally, it should be possible to program double function and combination to access personalized shortcuts. And the best button layout is two on the right and three on the left. This video was an extract of the most complete sport watch purchase guide on YouTube.
If you want to see the full video, you can click just right here. And if you want to see the other extracts, you can click just right there. Otherwise, if you're ready to buy your own watch, you can follow my link in the description. And now would be the time to click somewhere. Like right now.